You may have heard about the Music Modernization Act, or MMA, a federal law enacted in 2018. You may have also heard that this law changes the way songwriters and music publishers collect royalties from digital music providers such as Spotify, Apple Music, and others. This tutorial series, Breaking Down the Music Modernization Act, explains why the new law was needed, what it changed, and how it works. The tutorial has six sections. In this section, we will go over some basics about how different parts of copyright law can protect aspects of songs and recorded musical performances. It all starts with how music is protected under U.S. copyright law. The Copyright Act protects music, along with things like novels, poems, computer programs, photographs, paintings, and motion pictures. The Copyright Act provides two separate protections related to music. Musical compositions, also referred to as musical works, and sound recordings. Each has distinct qualities, authors, and exclusive rights. The term musical work refers to the music and lyrics of a song compared to the performance of that song. The copyright interest in a musical work belongs first to its authors, who are the songwriters or composers who created it. Often, these authors transfer some or all of their copyright interest to a music publishing company, which facilitates the licensing of that copyright to record labels, digital streaming services, and others who wish to use that work. The recorded performance of a song is a sound recording. The authors of a sound recording can be the performers and or producers who make creative contributions while making the recording. Because of this legal structure, when you listen to a song on the radio, online, or over the stereo, you're experiencing two separate copyrights. So, for example, Dolly Parton wrote the song, I Will Always Love You, and later, Whitney Houston recorded it for the Bodyguard soundtrack. When someone uses Whitney Houston's recording, they are using two different copyrighted works, Dolly's musical work and Whitney's sound recording. Ownership of a copyright provides exclusive rights, and musical works and sound recordings come with two different sets of exclusive rights. One big change in Title I of the Music Modernization Act addresses the licensing of certain rights associated with musical works. So, we'll focus on musical works for the rest of this video series. Be sure to stay up to date on the MMA at copyright.gov music modernization where you can sign up for regular email updates about the MMA. If you'd like to learn more about sound recordings, check out our circular, copyright.gov slash CIRCS slash CIRC 56 dot PDF. Links are also available below.